can you get into PA school with a G low GPA? Or how low can my GPA be and I still get into PA school? So I wanted to address that because, um, you know, it's a pretty simple answer. And the answer is... What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there who are watching doing your thing, trying to get into PA school or grad school or med school or whatever school you're trying to get into. We salute you guys. Thank you guys so much for being great dads. For all my ladies out there who has a father, father figure, brother that's a father, make sure that you tell them happy Father's Day and just how grateful they, that you are for them because especially in coronavirus times, we should be trying to be grateful for things. You know, as the word says, be grateful and give thanks in all things. So let's be thankful for our fathers today. And specifically for my husband, and I just want to say happy Father's Day to you. I know you're probably like editing this right now, <laughs> but I appreciate all that you do um, for me and our kids and Adana the PA YouTube. <laughs> really appreciate you. Hope you enjoy your day as well. I know you will. Anyways, all right, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've gotten this question a bazillion times um, and I wanted to answer it for you guys. It's, can you get into PA school with a G low GPA or how low can my GPA be and I still get into PA school? So I wanted to address that because, um, you know, it's a pretty simple answer and the answer is no. All right, so, you know, that's, that's it. The, the video's done. Just kidding so the video is not done it's not that simple and yes it is simple but not simple all at the same time it's kind of convoluted actually when you look at things so low gpa is relative what is low is low a 3.0 is low a 2.0 is low a 2.5 um what is low to you so for me um if you're saying like you have a 2.5 a 2.68 hey can i get into G uh pa school with a gpa that is like 2.68 that answer is simply no. No, you cannot, okay? There is a standard that schools are placing. Um, there are some schools that have a 2.75 and a 2.78, I think are the lowest that I've seen in terms of minimum GPA requirements. Um, so there are schools that have lower GPA requirements, but when you look at their average, their average student is still coming in with like 3.2, 3.1, 3.3. So. Yes, they say that this is their minimum, but uh, with respect to the types of students that they're entering or allowing to enter into their program, it's not somebody with a 2.5 or 2.0. So you need to do your research. You absolutely have to. You know, you, I say this all the time, you guys, but you have to do your research and look at the schools, look at their average student stats to see if you actually meet those requirements. Now, for the majority of people, when they're seeing low with respect to PA school, they're like, okay, a 3.0. So can I get into PA school with the bare minimum GPA that they're requiring? And again, um, the answer is not necessarily a resounding no as it was with a 2.0. However, you still have to have other intangibles aside from the GPA. So the GPA is what's going to kind of get you pushed into the whole application process. Yes, you've met the requirements. Now let's look at these other things that you're bringing to the table. How many hours do you have? Um, what have you been doing for the past five years? Were you actually working as a nurse? And you know, your GPA is from like way back when you were an undergrad, or were you doing a post back and your GPA is kind of slighted because your undergrad GPA is trash, but your post back GPA is amazing. And so this is where you've kind of gotten it to be. So all of those things will be taken into consideration when actually reviewing your application, but you have to do your part. And so I feel like, you know, with respect to this question, sometimes we're asking the wrong question. It's not a matter of, can I get into PA school with a low GPA? But I mean, do you even want to? Like, first off, do you want to get into PA school with a low GPA? Are you just trying to like skid by? Is that the student you're gonna be? Is that the type of person that you're going to be? Or are you gonna actually work for this thing, work hard for it, to get in and you know succeed and prove to these people and yourself that yeah you were built for this you were meant for this and this is where you're supposed to be so that's really where the change in mindset should happen I think initially um, for many of us that are asking this question and then I think again we should change the narrative of the question it shouldn't be like 
can I get into PA school with a low GPA, but what do I need to get into, uh, what do I need to do to get into PA school? I've made these mistakes in my past as um, an undergrad and I want to get better. So what do I need to do? That's really what the question should be. Not can I get into PA school with a low GPA. Once you've gotten out of that mindset and now you're working towards actually doing your part to get into PA school, then I mean the sky's the limit. Of course you can get into PA school once you've done all the things that you need to do. But you have to be willing to put in the work. And you also have to be willing to take your time, right? So if you have like a 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 GPA, it's not gonna happen in a matter of like months that, hey, now you're ready to apply to PA school. So you want to set yourself up to actually be able to get an acceptance. Therefore, take your time, plan this out, make sure that you are looking at every single thing that you need to do. Um, you know, you can come on to my YouTube channel, subscribe, of course, you know, hit that like button, help my algorithm out, see some videos on how to get into PA school and help yourself out all at the same time. That is an option for you. You can also just do your research on Google, um, look at Instagram, look at blog posts and podcasts, just wherever you can get information, call the schools directly just to see and set yourself up in the best position to get into PA school. And that's honestly with anything. It's not just PA school. It can be med school, PT school, whatever school you're looking at getting into do your research um, and do your part. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I really just wanted to put this out there for you all, give you a nice little happy Father's Day video, but at the same time answer this question that really is simple but a little bit convoluted and really requires you to do your part, right, in all of this. So hopefully it was helpful. If you have any further questions for me, guys, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, I will do my best to answer it either in the comment section or in another video for you all. Follow me on Instagram at I'm the PA, and I will talk to you guys next time. 